Hey everybody, all right, let's hunt some customer wrapped coins here. I went to my local Chase branch, or actually they called me and said, we had a customer that just dropped off a bunch of customer wrapped coins. They were specific about the halves. They said, it's almost a thousand dollars in halves. That's these right here. Uh, do you want them? And I'm like, sure. And I said, what else did he drop off? He dropped off some quarters, but she said, I need the quarters. So if you can bring me $300 in quarters, we can swap them out. So I brought $300 in quarters and then four rolls of dimes and I brought them two rolls of nickels, but they wound up giving me uh, bank wrapped nickels. So that's all right. So we're gonna do a little hunt here. I'll start with a half dollar. And um, I don't think I'm gonna find anything because it was $1,010 in halves. There's the extra roll back there. So probably not gonna find anything silver, but we'll look for some errors and varieties. And uh, we'll start with the halves and then I'll finish up with the quarters, dimes and nickels. And I'll come back when I've got something good. Box one, roll number seven. We've got our first find, 2002 NIFC out of Philly. Roll 42, and up until now, we've only found that one NIFC, and I've been checking every coin for doubling, for the no FG, whatever I can find, and I finally found something. A 1972 DDO, you can see the doubling on the base of the T, a little bit up here. You can definitely see the R that is split, the doubling on the serifs of the U, and you can see it right there in the S. A little harder to see on the T there. If you go over to we, it is a little tougher to see. You can see a split there, a split there, a little split there. Let me move the coin over. And you can also see a little bit of a split there, maybe a little tougher to see. A split here, the doubling right there on the O as well. So 1972 DDO. That's only the second one I've ever found. So that's that's definitely a sweet find. Last roll of the first box. And we've got another find here. 1993 S proof. You can see a little scratchy scratch over there, but still a pretty cool find. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of this roll and then start on box two. Roll number two of box number two. And we've got another DDO. 1974D, DDO, you can see the split right here on the four. You can definitely see the split on the R, a little bit on the U there and over there, and you can kind of see it right there on the S as well. And that's all you need to look for on the 74D, DDO. So that's, a, that's another sweet find there. I don't find these too often, but they're really easy to spot when you get them under the microscope. Box number two, roll number six. We've got another DDO, 2012, out of Philly. Box two, roll 19, and we've got another NIFC, 2006, out of Denver. And that's it for the half dollar boxes. We only got three NIFCs. We did get the 93 proof. And then two DDOs, the 74D and the 72P DDO. That's only the second one I found, as I mentioned earlier. I'm pretty excited about that. All right, now let's move over to the dimes, nickels, and quarters. I'll do the nickels. Oh, there's one more half dollar roll. So I'll do that first. And then the nickels and the dimes and then the quarters. And I'll come back when I've got something good. I'm on my second roll of dimes and I open it up and there's a Canadian Ender. Let's see what year it is. 1986, a little hard to see. I think that says 86. And uh, anyway, pretty neat find. I did find two really nice, uh, just regular dimes, nothing special, except they're just in great condition, a 1986D and a 1988D. So those are probably upgrade Chris's album. So, all right, back to the hunt. Roll number five of the quarters. We didn't find anything in the nickels. And here's a 1971 in 
incredible condition. It looks like someone is kind of sort of a blue tint, like someone just took it out of an uncirculated pack. Now the 71D does have a DDR, so let me put that under the scope. I mean, look at the detail on that. I don't see the DDR, but that is a sweet coin. I'm sure that will upgrade whatever Chris has in his album. Roll number nine of the quarters, and as I laid them out here, we've got a foreign uh, 20 cent times from France, 1980. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever found one of those in the wild before, so that's a pretty good find. Roll 10, and it was a little difficult getting the coins out of the wrapper here, and I think I know why. It looks like we've got a couple of foreigns. No, it's a token, vacuum token. That's pretty cool. Is this, what is this? No cash value, that's another token. Probably for a car wash or maybe some type of a video game or something, but so I'm out 50 cents because it says no cash value. Roll 14 and look at that. Wow. A 1980D. Looks like they just, I don't know if the, if the person that rolled these uh, broke open some sets. I would think they would have to. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice condition there. So that's definitely going to upgrade Chris's book as well. Roll 18, and we've got, it looks like another token. I think these are used for car washes. No, nope, Family Fun Centers. Nice, if I ever find one of those, I can go in and play a free game, I guess. Next roll, roll 19, and we've got another foreign. Oh, it's the uh, commemorative 1952 to 2002. Canadian Quarter. I don't think I've ever found one of those, so that's, that's pretty nice. All right, we're going to find anything worth any money in these rolls. I don't know. Same roll, a little bit later, we've got a 2016 Harper's Ferry die crack. It's located on the right side of the building along the drain pipe. So that's a pretty good find. Roll 20, next roll, and it looks like another foreign. That's another French. 20 cent times from 1981. Roll 24, and we've got another error. It's the 1999 Delaware Spitting Horse, which is a die crack that comes out of the horse's mouth towards the C or the A. You can kind of see it there. Not the best example, but I'll take it. Roll 26, and we've got probably another foreign or a token. It was difficult to get out of the roll. And this is some, some type of a Catholic medal, maybe? Not really sure what this is. I've seen the design before, but I'm, I'm not, not really sure what it is. If you know what it is, please leave me a comment in the chat. That's a... Pretty unusual. All right, I'm on roll 28. And I started to film the first coin I found, but then I noticed other shiny coins as I laid the coins out. In that one roll, we have nine BU quarters. 1969, 1971 out of Philly, which probably goes with his 1971 out of Denver. 1974, 1980 Philly, which goes with the 1980 out of Denver. Another 1980, and then we have 386s and a 92, and they are in just an incredible condition. Um, so whoever uh, did these hand rolls were 
they were, I'm guessing, were probably cracking open some uncirculated sets and dumping them out. But um, I could have film, filmed each one individually, but that would have taken forever. And um, but those are pretty pretty nice. Those will definitely upgrade Chris's book. So, all right, two rolls left. And that's it for the uh, customer wrap roll hunt. Uh, pretty good amount of finds here, even though we didn't find anything silvery. For the half dollars, we did get three Nifsies, the 93 proof, two DDOs, the 74D and the 72. As far as quarters, we did get a Harper's Ferry die crack from 2016. We got the spinning horse from Delaware, 1999. Got a couple of French coins there, 20 centimes. And then four tokens. Um, we did get a, a Canadian quarter, a Canadian dime. I did find a couple nicer, older dimes just for the book. Nothing really special about them. I was shortchanged a penny in the nickel rolls. Here's a couple of 2022s just for the book. But I think the best find is going to be these uh, 11 BU quarters here. You can see how shiny they are under the light here. Uh, those will definitely upgrade Chris's book. So I'm pretty happy about that. But uh, overall, not a bad hunt. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. Also, feel free to leave us a comment below. And we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. So thanks again for watching and good luck with your hunts.